<laughs> Aloha, mahalo, mahalo, alo. Aloha, mahalo. We are going to be Tiger Belly Live April 26th. Guys, we're at the Hawaii Theater, Honolulu, oh. Hawaii. Oh, yeah. It's going to be our live game show night. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have surprise guests. We're going to have so many surprise guests. And I just, you, you got, I mean, we're, we're going to sell out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got to get tickets now. Don't sleep on it. Don't this. sleep on it, or we'll sleep on your face. We'll sleep Ooh. on Ooh. your Ooh. face and more. Blood farts. Ew. Mm. Uh, Aloha. Wait, wait a second. Don't they also have the option for VIP tickets to. You have the option of VIP tickets to do what? I think our VIP he experience is, is so experience. cool. You get to You literally just sit get to sit us. around in a circle with us and ask us. Anything, anything, anything it's at great. all. It's great. Please come. Go to TigerBellyLive.com for your tickets. Enjoy the show. Monopoly. M- yeah. Metaphor. Simile? No, no, not Does a metaphor like or, or a simile. Simile is like. Metaphor uses like or as? No. Simile is like or as. Like as. Metaphor is like a conceptually parallel. It's like, not, I'd see, none of our contemporaries know what this stuff means. Jaime. Jaime is our um, sidekick from Texas. He opens for Ralph Barbosa. I'm sweaty, bro. No, that's fine. We're all sweaty, bro. <laughs> Good to meet you officially. Yeah. Nice to meet He's you, our man. sweet little innocent Jaime, who's not yeah. so sweet and innocent. Are you really dating a chick with three kids? Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 we're messing it around. Okay, wait, we'll save it, save yeah, it, save it, save it, save it. Yeah, awesome, bro. Yeah? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, oh shit, not headphones? You don't have to. I don't wear them. It's not recording? I love it. Who, who does wear the headphones? You wear them? I don't. Does, like does B. Models. Lee? He does, he does. Yeah. B. Lee wears them? Well, if you, if you wear them, you'll start pouring sweat out of your ears, yeah. probably. It happens Too to me much. sometimes. It's Overstimulation. Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ear fucked. I forget how, I forget that you're more handsome than Logan. <laughs> that, that. And it, and it really, you know, it really makes me feel good. That's debatable. It's not debatable at all. Is there a back. close up on the back of my head on the show? No, why? Well, it's just, it's not always completely filled in. Can I, I see? Let me, may I look? I'd prefer not. I'm going to look. I don't My, even, I don't know that we're on that level. What are we looking <laughs> yeah, at? Yeah, we're on that level. What are we Wait, looking, what are we for? looking at? The back of a stupid just head. The back of my head. It looks good. It honestly looks very Do normal. You no, know, but you don't have like a specific, like, intense, you know. Are we, are, are, you, are, bald, we on? are you balding? Are we on? Are you balding? Yeah. 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 No, yeah, we're, we're on. I imagine if there was just, I don't want there to be like a telescopic camera just pointed right at. You know, my, the back of my head. I didn't know what type of podcast. Guys are uh, uh, really uh, weird about the back of their head. Can someone explain this? Well, first, we said Bill Burr was on earlier, and he has no hair. Oh, that guy scares me. I'll, oh, I'll, whenever I see him, bro. Yeah, he scares me. I just think of that H3 podcast where H3 <laughs> had to like start taking Ritalin as, or whatever it was as a result of it. Why? What happened? You know what happened. No, I didn't. Um, I think Ethan just felt like it didn't go well. Yeah, yeah. And like maybe there was too much like reverence for Bill. So I like he froze a little you bit. You can't have reverence for him. That's the rule with him. Was yeah. that it, George? No. Ethan brought up that uh, he brought like it's a clip show. So they brought the video up of uh, Bill like crushing it uh, in the Philadelphia. Yeah. And then Bill was just like, what? Are you just going to show me videos of myself all day? Yeah. He, and then since it's a clip show, there was like, well, that's probably what we were going to do. The next 10 things they were going to do were probably that. Uh, he sunk the then, whole show then, before he even started. Nothing. Mike Malak. Malak. <laughs> yeah. He, I mean, either from work, Bob. Malak. Uh, Bob. From Impulsive. Mm-hmm. Give him a round of applause. Woo! I, 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 honestly, he's more handsome. I had a better connection with you. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously me and George really bonded, but... <laughs> On that show, but. I mean that's that's kind of like <laughs> sitting down with you right now is is like me sitting down with my Hitler. <laughs> or, 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 sorry, sorry, or, or, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I should say I should say Mao Zedong. Let's say okay, that's better. That's okay, better. Okay, you 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 ruined our show. You ruined our <laughs> show, and you ruined my life. Okay. Oh, that's. That doesn't feel good at all. Well, I honestly don't know what the fuck you're talking. What do you mean? Wait, let's rewind. Okay. Let's rewind, rewind what? Our lives? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's give the audience uh, a little I, bit of I, a... Okay, so... Uh, let me... Let uh, me no, no, let me. Let me. Okay. Let me. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. May I? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure, show. Mike. 
Well, I don't want to. No, we're, it's. Thank you for doing it, by the way. I don't thank know. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you do. What? Literally, I'm excited I don't for it. I'm pumped up to talk to everybody in this room. I yeah. know we have conversations from girlfriends to sweating too much to <laughs> like a bunch of different stuff, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm pumped for it. But Dude. you have some real great people on this show, they right? Do. And yeah. like, I just feel like right now, you're like a, a good chunk of your audience right now is saying, Mother, why? No, they're not. Why this <laughs> Yo, Zionist? Why this, no, why this scum? No, why this law? Bought sold. You know, Tate doesn't like them. Um, oh, no. Fuck this. Ridiculous this guy, what you're saying. Dude. Well, all right. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I absolutely hope. ridiculous right now what you're saying. Go ahead. I wasn't going to say anything. Why are you raising your hand? I wasn't. I was trying don't to touch your head when I'm vent talking. my armpits. <laughs> Please don't touch your head when I'm talking. Okay, I'm Confusing. sorry. I'm just, Never again. Don't do this. What is this? I was you're venting my, ar my armpits are sweating. Uh, okay, anyway, um, let's rewind for a second, okay? This is the truth. And I'm going to, uh, you know what? Can I get something at the, oh God. the body, your oh, bottom yeah, you lip? Do. Oh, yeah. The body of Christ? Looks like you were chewing on tobacco. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> Wait a second. It's called magic. Swallowed it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> what was that? Because it's it's chunky. It's tobacco. Tobacco. Okay. Can, can you not point out tobacco on my face? Uh, Next time, just let it ride. You're right. I'm being I'm being negative and nasty. Well, maybe I brought not the best energy. No, no, no. Yo, it wasn't you. Okay. When I when I saw you, I was so excited. What are you talking about, <laughs> Mike? I love you, man. I, I love. Let's you rewind about, a little Robert. bit, though. Okay. So what happened was. You sat down. I literally walked outside and I go, oh, I really like, it reminds me of when I did in pause. I really like this guy, right? I said that to you. And yeah. then you go, um, well, you really fucked it up. <laughs> I, and, I, and, no. you're right, and I go, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, the whole George thing now, he has his own podcast. And I go, I literally don't, don't even, so what happens? So George is no longer with Impulsive. Yeah, George is no longer on the show. He never Why? <sighs> You, the seed, because of you. The Are you because fucking of you? out of yeah. your mind? I didn't do anything. Well, you, you, even if you did or didn't, whatever you did do ruined all of our lives. <laughs> like, like, like that's just the simplest way to put it. It oh, was basically like a, yeah. it was like a Viet Cong offensive <laughs> that none of us were really ready for. Uh, okay, don't play it. Just but He that, left. That was the moment. That's just the seed that was planted. All right, stop. Push pause. Push pause. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Number one. All right, let's just get this out of the way. Okay. Um, number one, I was super nervous that day okay. yeah. for doing it. You guys, because you know it's like, you know, I'm comfortable around Whitney Cummings and people that I know. But when I like, you know, this impulsive is a huge podcast. I was super nervous. Well, it was so, before you came on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's one of the biggest I, shows I, in the world. I, I, we had huge I, sponsors. I know. It was a great. Oh, show. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so I show up because I'm super. You were there, guys. We were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You brought. By the way, you brought a like a fucking army. You brought goons. And yeah. I just thought about rolling through this porta potty I, I, solo. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me say something. Did Did Ned Stark when he went down to the Capitol bring nobody? He brings his family. No. <laughs> Wait, is that so, the Viking? Yeah. No, uh, what? You ever saw Game of Thrones? Oh, I'm so. Oh, I thought you were talking about January six. <laughs> <laughs> Ned Stark went to Bobby, January 6th. You Bobby talked about, talk about January Rob and Ned Stark, the whole gang went to January 6th. Well, you were talking about storming the Capitol. I, when? You just said yeah. he didn't... When they went down to the Capitol. The, yeah, the Capitol is where the king is. And, yeah. In King's Queen's Landing. Landing. Yeah, yeah, let me say something to you. Uh, 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 Mike, let me say something, okay? I am so sorry. There are more than one Capitol. <laughs> Can we just throw that out there? True, true. All right, there's more than... Right? Yes. <laughs> That was an honest mistake, dude. I thought you were talking about that Viking guy. <laughs> you know. he goes, See, no, you know. oh, oh, you mean the QAnon yeah. shaman? Yeah, yeah. No, the... I'm not talking about him, man. What is going on here? All right, let's go back. I've been bit. spending let's... a lot of time on conspiracy. I, I, I know. <laughs> so no, not that. And okay. let me just. All right. So um, so I brought my own army up to the you know what I mean King's Landing. Is that if that's better. It's King's Landing. And um. I was super nervous, so when I did it, I'm like, "Oh, this is going well." But I, you know, whenever I'm on another part person podcast, I'm I'm a little I bring guns, you know what I mean? I, I start going, pa 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 pa. You're right because I'm scared because I want to be able to like you know show what I can do, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to make I don't know what it is. And then all I remember is 60 percent into the podcast, George, who I'm a big fan of, is um he leaves. <laughs> The podcast, and I don't know what I did. What did I do? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Now, um, did you know a lot about George at that time? No, like he was I had a no man idea. of God. That he was. Uh, you are the 
a hedonistic side of the human spectrum, wouldn't you say? No. And George is probably I, 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 on the uh, oh opposite so side old, of that. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. You guys are fucking mistaken. And you think mistaken. Bobby's energy was like an affront? Yeah. No, no, you're, you're fucking mistaken. And I want to say that right now, dude. I'm a man of the Lord. I'm a man of God. I love God. I pray every night. What are you talking about? I respect his religion. Who is your God? I, I don't have a fucking is Western it, religion. Is it Bill Burr? No, it's not Bill Burr. <laughs> you know, Mike? I about to stab you, bro. I'm telling you, Mike. Mike, I'm telling you right I'm now. I'm sorry, dude. You come, see, that's what you're doing. I'm sorry. You're coming here no, and no, you're pissing all over even. my fucking podcast to make I, your mark. I don't want to And do whatever you need podcast. to do to make your mark. But when I say something right now, you're being very, very confrontational. <laughs> I don't mean I don't even know. I, I love you. And so what happened? Okay. George leaves. He, he leaves. Yeah. I find it to be rude. I find that to be rude. When somebody leaves, I'm the guest. I'm scared. And he leaves the. Box. Okay, so we didn't we didn't know that. Let me let me unrequisitedly and, and what is that word? And uh, it's not even a word. And on uh, it and, <laughs> and unequivocally and unrequisitedly talk. You you you. <laughs> there was more to the story besides just simply good versus evil. Yes. Okay. There was there was <laughs> you know what I'm saying like God versus dead the devil. No no that's not. There was there there was a lot brewing at the time. We had some some stuff going on in the show and and. George had taken, unfortunately, taken the brunt of of on some shows leading up to it, and so it it, it just it was like a wrong time, wrong place, wrong type of situation thing that happened. And and to be completely honest with you, I, I've used it as a joke, but I don't want to get too too deep into it because it was it honestly did end up being a a, a real sore point. Not. I am partially joking about how much you had to do with it. There was definitely more to the story. So let's just take that off the board right now. Let, let me just put this back like on the board. Breathe, let me, let, you let, can let, breathe. I like to put bit. stuff on the board. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. put something on the board, right? <laughs> For sure. Um, I'll put something on the board. Um, I Now, in retrospect, I, I've read some things online that I'm, I was absolutely confused about. But uh, I think I did. I think I was a sore point. Like a, like a straw that broke the... You were just back. the cherry on top. Yeah. Of already an existing. That's a good problem. thing. The cherry on top is a good oh, thing. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah, straw, yeah. the camelback, camelback is not good. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back. Let's go with the, the camelback. Straw, okay. The, the straw. Camel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cherry on the sun. But, but, dude, look at. But like, look at that. The cherry Mel on the melting Sunday. The melting Sunday. That the cherry sense. on the camel's back. <laughs> Let's just do that. I was the yeah, cherry on the camel's the same back. Weight. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, a straw. So go ahead. But look at the. I mean, regardless, like, look at the outcome of it, right? Like, he has a very successful show now. He's in a good spot. He's He's happy. He's doing the type of content and shows that he wants to do. Uh, we've we've repaired our relationship and and we're in a good spot now. And and everything is is beautiful, obviously, except for our show. You guys bumped into each other right on a plane. I heard we did. That was the first time we'd seen each other since like things had kind of had wait. A, so that was the last time when he walked off. The last time no, you guys podcasted. No, together. We, no, we did shows after that. How many? That was uh, several. Several. Well, then here we go. No, no, no. no. The you're, cherry on the decamel's yeah, back. No, you weren't. You're you're in the clear. <laughs> it just was a. Yeah. It was more of like a chapter of a book, right? Or or uh. in his case, like a Bible verse. So like imp a, if if, if impulsive had a book, yeah, would one of the chapters be called Bobby Lee? Oh, a thousand percent. Oh, oh that's oh, a thousand yeah. cherry on the camel's oh, back. A thousand I am the percent. cherry on the camel's back. Oh, bro, the commentary community <laughs> had a field day with that episode. There's a there's tens of millions of views Beautiful. online just dissecting. Body language, delivery, yeah. uh, so on and so forth. The seating arrangement. The I mean, the, arrangement. The, the science, <laughs> the algorithmic technicalities that were put into that episode and, and judged by way of that right. episode are crazy. There's a weird, weird line in between content and reality that we all play in. You know what I'm saying? Like, we talk about things from a joking standpoint. Like, some of the things we talked about before the show started today, like, could have very deep, long-lasting impacts on your life. <laughs> yeah. And when we sit down, it's everything becomes a joke. Right. I walked off a show, I I, I flipped the table over on a, yeah. on a show. You have a heavy table here. I yeah, but who, who's For uh, real somebody, else, somebody um, else's podcast? Yeah. And they're not going to air it? No, they, I told yeah. it. It was fine to air. We aired it. And then um, you were really moment. angry. Mm -hmm. And whose podcast was it? It was on a show called Jeff FM with Jeff Wittick, a real good looking He's a fuck. I'm good looking mm -hmm. too, dude. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah. you say I am. Uh, this yeah, dude's uh, uh, yeah, yeah. top notch. Yeah, I was kidding though with you. But okay, anyway, um, enough. I, <laughs> trust yeah, I love me, it. I did. He looks sleep. Is that good enough? That was I like so that good. That was damn. Was good. You guys, he looks sleep is the only mattress I'll ever sleep on. Do you know why? Why? Because. Getting a good night rest or a nappy time 
is the most healthiest thing that you did, you can do for your body. And it's, the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses. All my rooms in my house have a Helix mattress, mm. and including the award-winning Lux collection. Ooh la la, oh, yeah. the newly released Helix. Elite, elite collection, a, ma a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers. You know what I'm talking about. Even a mattress made just for kids. And it's super easy to figure out which mattress works best for you and your body. Um, you just take a really um, quick quiz. Like for me, I'm a side sleeper, but I also run really hot. So I got matched to the midnight mattress. And then you also have the option to upgrade to a luxe version of that, which is a oh thicker God. version. And it's like sleeping in heaven, you guys. Wow. And if your spine needs some extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress has a hybrid design combining individually wrapped steel coils in the base with premium foam layers on top. It's the perfect combination of comfort and support. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash belly and use code helixpartner20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts but now. now. ZocDoc! Dude, my friends, mm -hmm. ZocDoc is a lifesaver. Okay. Because it's like, you know, you know, you know how you want to go to a nice restaurant? Mm -hmm. well, you go on these you know, apps and you go, what's the best one? It's so helpful. Yeah. Why wouldn't you do that for your life or your health? ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And what I love about it too is immediately you'll know whether or not this is um, a doctor that takes your insurance. All of these doctors are... All of these docs have verified reviews from actual real patients. And we're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed, credible doctors and specialists, and you can do it really fast. You can also filter specifically for the ones who take insurance or are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for. And a typical wait time is 24 to 72 hours, exactly. which is so much shorter than waiting for a doctor you're not really sure of to call you back and to maybe not even accept you as a new mm, patient. Bastards. Go to ZocDoc.com slash belly and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find a book, a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot -C com slash belly. ZocDoc.com slash belly. Trust me. I, didn't I think you're hot. But you saw it, Jaime? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it was pretty wild. So uh, my dog passed uh, two weeks ago. Oh. And I know, like, so like, that was my piece in life and it was my mom's pet and they lived together alone and my mom's divorced and that's like her thing, right? Or her, her, her best friend in the world, my best friend in the world. And evidently I had like angered one of his like co-hosts when his father had died. Um, his father, he, sorry, he had called in to give the news that his father had passed, but in a very joking way, he was using comedy as like a way to disarm well, his a, own it's feelings. It's a self, it's a, it's a defense mechanism. When one's hurt, sometimes you use joke as a defense mechanism. And I matched that energy. So he was like, he called in to like give the news that his dad had passed while like sniffing lines of coke off the passion of the Christ, like off Jesus's face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I was like, okay, clearly like he's like dealing with this with comedy. So I said to him like. Well, he was delivering this like monologue about his dead father. I was like, "Hey, I have an eight o'clock. Like, is this gonna like mm -hmm. wrap up? So, like, matching the energy? That's funny, right? So, the guy's Evan, being talking about his dead dad. He's very emotional. And you're like, can you hurry he, it up? What I did with George, baby? He wasn't. He, emo he wasn't emotional. He was. <laughs> he was fucking around. So I matched the energy. Yeah. So then on last week's show, I I had no idea, but he had been har harnessing or, or garnering this hatred towards me this this blood feud you know like he had a i just found out recently he's got a my face on his wall oh, shit. and oh, wow. he shoots evidently shoots an arrow into it every night before he goes to bed wow <laughs> i know exactly why he did that too I, it's because he can make fun of it because it's his dad and his like sadness yeah but it's like it's almost like i can make fun of my mom but you can't it's probably how he felt in that moment which which by the way all warranted and yeah. and and i i tried to <clears throat> i thought i was just simply matching energy he it's a very comedic yeah. show and i i requested to get in touch with him after the show and everybody's like he doesn't want to talk to you oh, like, and, I, and i tried i'd hit up other people from production you want to talk to me so fast forward to last week and i'm on the show in a very different state of mind like like you can see from the beginning of the episode i'm broken i'm not the normal me i'm not having a good day like i'm, I'm in a really bad spot so they ask me about the passing of my dog and i'm basically like almost in tears like talking about it like really still like 
trying to deal with it. And they let him call in at that exact Whoa. moment. And he's got his cat in his hands. And he's like, look, I can still pet my little friend. You can't do this. You know, like, ha ha. Mm -hmm. And bro, and then just kept going and going. And they let it play through, like, <clears throat> just for the viewership standpoint. And... Uh, I said, hey, listen, man, like if, if you're upset with what happened with your father, I really want to apologize to you. And this is wholeheartedly like I thought we were on the same wavelength. I had made a joke. I'm really sorry about it. And he just kept pushing, kept pushing. And they let it all play and let it all play. And I was just and I just fucking lost it, spazzed out, flipped the table over and had like a real okay. vulnerable moment where that was my George Janko. And, and that demon I saw on the screen, like I, when I see him, I see a Korean man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that whole time, bro. Like now when I play it back, I think it was you. <laughs> I think it was you that called in, like just AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, so all, uh, no, no, okay. Go ahead. Just, just shit bleeds through. There's a very thin line between content and, and real life emotion and we all play it very close. Here's my rule. Anything goes. Mm-hmm. Comedy, for no, sure. No, it's not even just pod podcasting, stand up. I just feel like anything goes. Those are that's a place where you can pretty much say anything you want. I mean, this is my theory, my philosophy. I mean, not theory, philosophy. Now, has it bitten me in the ass? Obviously, it has. For sure. But I've never been really offended by really anything that anyone's ever said toward me. You know what I mean? It's like you know, my dad died. You know, you know, Andrew would make fun of it. You know, not make fun of it, but you know, <laughs> people would you know poke and tease, and it's like. In that space. Now, if I'm sitting there, I call Andrew or somebody and I go, um, I, I want to talk to you about something serious. I'm really depressed. And, this is, and he made a joke then. <laughs> then I would flip a table because that's not like what real life is. That's real life. Yeah. But this is a space of anything goes, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes and no. Because, yeah, sure, you can, like, in theory, say anything goes here. But you're still bringing your real life emotions to work. Like if my dog passed away yesterday, let's say for instance, by the way, we had a cry fest about our dogs last night because we share four dogs. But if my dog's passed away, it doesn't matter if I say, okay, those rules, you're right, anything goes. But I- I think you're right. I think you're right, I think you're right. I'm so- I think you're right, I think you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. This is why we need women. Yeah, 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 I think you're right. This is why we need women. Because if, if, if Gobi had died, yeah. and went on somebody's podcast, and somebody was penning them and mocking it, Oh my God! I would snap. You would absolutely snap. Yeah, I would say you're right. Yeah, you but know, you I'm, did call George on this podcast. Mm -hmm. You guys were good. That's right, I did. Yeah, I I squashed it. Now would George do this podcast? Probably. Yeah. Get him. He's I, in a good spot. He's. In I need a really him here. Good spot, man. I need him here. Please make it happen. Oh, you'll, actually, you'll I don't be know. right after his Jordan Peterson episode. <laughs> you don't he think he would will. probably have you on his? I don't think he. I don't think he would do a trade right off the oh. bat. I'll do his. Set it up. Oh, it, I, bro, it'll be, you'll, it'll go Let's insane. all roll deep. It'll no, you're not coming. Okay. I'm coming solo to the fucking yeah. capital. <laughs> it's not the Which, capital. Jason? This yeah, yeah, yeah. This is six. <laughs> yeah, not Jan, Jan, not Jan 6. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do Jan 6. <laughs> I'll come Jan 6. But uh, we're, I'm going to the capital. We're I will meet him five. by myself. And I'll go eye to eye and I'll squash it. Because honestly, I felt nothing after the impulsive. I was just like, that was fun. Yeah. That show sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that show? No, no, no. That's what I think the numbers were. No, I loved Good. it. Well, the numbers were what I mean, they your were. Group, your group dynamic different for sure. After. No, I thought you and I worked well together, and and Logan. Um. Or does Logan not like me either? No, he does. No, Logan loves you because he I, did this after that, right, Logan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. We, yeah, have, yeah. we have a we have a dynamic on the show. Logan Logan's the draw. I'm the the meat for the for the episodes. I do the majority of the research, the talking, the question asking. Are you? We had rapport immediately. I love it. As soon as you came on the show, I enjoy it. I lied to you. I told I did something fucked up that day, and I'm here to come clean about it. That's gonna oh, hold dramatically up, stop, stop. dramatically <laughs> okay, stop, affect stop, stop, our stop. relationship. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Right? You sure you want to do this here? Where else are we gonna do it? The billiards hall? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> where are we gonna do it? <laughs> When's the last time we hung out? You want to go play nine holes after this and fucking talk about it? But uh, billiards hall. Is that, you want to go? I don't know where. You want to go to the theater? The theater. You want to go the to the theater? theater? Can't we go to a coffee shop? Yeah, we can go to. Box. I mean, you could have called me and said, "Hey, man, I have a. I lied, and this is issue. The, this is like, and this. Or I, I, I want to say, okay. Do you want to guess? No, I don't want to guess what it is. I have no idea because yeah. literally after I did impulsive, I was like oblivious. Not only oblivious, I'm like, I like that guy, Mike. Fuck. 
the hamburger thing. The hamburger guy. <laughs> the hamburger yeah, guy. I, the hamburger guy. He knows about hamburgers. Yeah, I know. Cheeseburger. Yeah, you do. Che- cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. Who, who yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Oh wait, wait. No, wait, wait. It's a, uh, you can if you're Jewish. You can't combine the two. If you're Jewish, you can't have meat and cheese on the same sandwich because it's not kosher. It's not kosher. Yeah. Nah. Oh. Huh. Dude, they're banished to hamburgers forever. Oh, yeah. And if you're Indian, I don't know you can't what you're even doing. have a hamburger. I don't even know what you're My doing. My market is really small. <laughs> I, think I think you're diverse. Yo, small market. I should yeah. have done different products. India, so huge Massive. population, you're out. Mike, yeah. Mike, do it. Do you remember why we initially clicked? I don't. That's fair, because I wouldn't expect you to. You told me. I, I, you asked I, I, me. I feel like I'm going to flip the you, table. You, no, no, please. It's very heavy. Because you asked me. You, you know what it is? No, I don't. I'm okay, go ahead. You asked me a question, and you said to me, <laughs> based on how you answer this question, oh, yeah. <laughs> your answer to this question will deem and 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 be a preview to our to our lifelong friendship. How you answer this individual singular <laughs> question right now, in real time, will decide our fate. You want to do this now? It happened. Well, no, it already happened. Oh, let's go. No, uh, yeah, yeah, no. That's what you. No, said you want to get this out now? No, that's what you said. Let's to go. Me. Let's go. No. I don't. I don't remember it. Okay, but I'm that, following. Yeah, that's what you said to me. I, 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 okay, I, I, okay. It is something that I would say, yeah, so yeah. I'm not refuting. It that. is. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you said to me, and you said, Mike, what nationality am I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. And dude. And your claim was, dude. I said. Now I was looking at you. I went like this. Korean. And you go, see it? You're my friend for life now. I will love you forever as a result of that answer. Oh, no. When you looked up. There was a producer in the background drawing an imaginary K in the sky. (laughs) Like this. Oh, no. Interesting. Now, I could have guessed North Korean. Oh, no. You said that. Here we go. Interesting. I was going to guess Filipino. What? What? Oh, no. I, I'm way oh, off. I'm like, oh, no. What a weird guess. Oh, should we st- turn the cameras off and end it? Because Are you going to flip the table? I'm not going to flip the tables. Um, wow. We love him as Filipinos, but we don't claim him. They don't claim me either. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to come clean about it because I don't want there to be like some sort of false belief of of the original uh, well, you know what I, I want to claim something that happened earlier today then too to you <laughs> hold on well, you let got me, here let me take you got here er- <laughs> you got here er- <laughs> let me take a, a breath first, right, you please. got here early okay i was upstairs sitting in my room <laughs> gilbert goes he's here and i go in my mind i was gonna go who <laughs> so, then, so then i'm like oh fuck what's his name so then well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he has the Google. No, I googled you, and I, Mike, my like pronunciation, <laughs> right? So, so I before I googled, watch, I, I hope it goes you, right? But before that, I go Logan Paul podcast members because <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten your name. Right? <laughs> So Damn. I had to go, and I go, Mike, and then I go, Mike, Mike, Jack, Jack. So then I went to Mike, Mike, right? So, you know, if you want to play these games. <laughs> I don't. If you want to play these fucking hurtful games, can I, I can you, play them can as I well, Can I tell you too. something about Bobby, Mike? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is the most inconsiderate, like, non-remembering <laughs> person I've ever met. He will Stop. literally Please go don't. up I don't. to my 14-year-old niece who adores him, who he's met it, 25 yeah. times, who he's gone to so. the Philippines to visit, and he'll be like, wait, what was her name again? Yeah, yeah, Mike. And say it, and she she hears it. It's within earshot. And she's like, wait, he wasn't talking about me. And I'm like, no, no, of course he knows your name. He just doesn't remember these things. <laughs> he's sweating. Now, let me ask you something, okay? <laughs> and it's so painful. Why do you do that? He's hurt. Watch. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, what hurts more? We talked about Maria. We talked about sweating before the show. Yeah. I'm a, sw- I am a sweaty right. person. How do you feel yeah. right now? Sweaty. Because of this? No, not really. That doesn't bother you. No, I was sweaty in general. No, no, no. That this, doesn't bother no, no, no. you. You know what? The Korean doesn't bother me either. Yes, it does. No, it does. Is that, is the AC off? We're putting on right now. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, did you do this on purpose? No, I'm caught. You know that I sweat. And I told him. Did you oh tell him God, that I sweat? You, you and Logan and your fucking insurrection of friends are fucking crazy, dude. There's no fucking conspiracy theory. 
We're just here just, just to have fun, man. Bro, I'm, I'm sweating too now crazy. because it's a Korean thing. Are you sweating a <laughs> I little am bit? a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. My armpits. armpits. Yeah. Throw me a towel. Throw, please. Someone we don't have a towel. Sh this we don't behind you. Throw right me a shirt. You. We're not doing shirts. Okay. Back up, okay. dude. All right, okay. sweat. No, 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 no. If you throw that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's how you feel right now. You ruined my life. You ruined mine. <laughs> you ruined mine. All right, sweat it out. Okay, so um, usually I have hair and makeup for this type of thing. I, I, let's back up for a second, okay? okay? Let's back up, um, and uh, let's be honest, okay? That does bother me, the Korean thing, because if you would have said, because I already knew afterwards, driving away and going, I said we're gonna be lifelong friends, but I felt a little <laughs> off still. <laughs> like I wasn't you, like, did you? Could it have been doing with what happened on the episode? No, it, no, potentially. No, it's aside from that. I go. I don't think our bond was locked in. <laughs> Right, and I was really confused by it going, it doesn't seem lifelong. <laughs> it, it seems like a year. Talk. Like trickery. Yeah, yeah, right? So now that you say Korean, it, it's all very clear to me. We were me never meant to be friends. But I think you guys were. <laughs> no. I think you guys, like, you, you, you had a history with addiction as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And I know that's something that Bobby really struggled with. What does that have anything to do with it? Here's something that I know you build lifelong friendships on like sobriety and people who have gotten over that kind of hump in their lives and that's something but that's people not a bond soul, over. That's not a soul I think requirement. it can be. I'm but trying it, to help you here, Mike. It, it, what, are you, <laughs> what, are you, what are you texting right now? No, I wasn't. I was looking at myself. Okay. The, you don't want to know what it was? It was the headphones. They're it was, so right? Off. It's overstimulated. So yeah, uh, well, I'm going to take it off. Let's take them off the, for this episode. The idea that... I'm going to take them off this episode. The idea that people that have, have a past with addiction bond over that is... A one thousand percent true. I, I actually didn't even know that that was we did a piece of your past. That. I'm not. I'm no, not saying. You know what? With your hands, you right don't now, like this. No, but you're doing a lot with your okay. hands right now, and I want you to back up a little bit because <laughs> you know we we talked about the Korean thing, yeah, yeah, right, and we talked about me not remembering your name yep. upstairs, right, yep. and so I, I feel like there's sometimes you're sweating like an animal right now, right. <laughs> so what I'm going to say to you right now is let's take a step back and let's fucking regroup because I feel like it's going to go to blows for no reason, okay? So back up for a second. Thank you. All right, you guys. Yeah, yeah, you purposely you, made this room hot. No, you, your, okay. your paranoia and your conspiracy <laughs> theories. I've had enough of those as well. Right, there is no conspiracy. We had Bill Burr on earlier, right? That was a difficult one last for me, week. right, to get through. Last week, I yeah. couldn't. Last week, I mean, I couldn't wait for you, whatever. You know what I mean? And I couldn't wait for you to come, even even for a brief second. I forgot your name. And then so, uh, and we came in. I wasn't ever going to give you that information, but the Korean thing you could have kept to yourself. I wish I had because honestly, I do partially feel like I was going to do a gotcha moment, and that's what made me sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like this was one that like bat, like really, really backfired on yeah. me. And I would, I can we start over? No. Can we start the no, whole because show? My over? gotcha, though, my gotcha was so good, I thought. <laughs> that was good, yeah. Because it was yeah. so honest, right? And I could keep going back <laughs> of the things I Googled, right? So uh, uh, my point is let's talk about peace before we can move on, all right? Peace between, between you, you and, and I. Oh, me and you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's water under the. Saigon yeah. Bridge. <laughs> that's already done, that's, bro. That's done. You bro, that's, turn that AC on. I already feel. Yeah, that's very good. Fifty times yeah. more peaceful. Can I, Can we do this from now on? Yeah. And I'm going to let you have the Saigon Bridge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more Asian references. Okay. Fair enough. For the rest of the thing. Done deal. What do I get out of it? What do you get out of it? Yeah. You're uh, just not going to make me sweat anymore. No, no. What I, you're going to get out of it is you're going to get probably a T-shirt. No. Do we have any? Yeah. We ran out. Okay. We ran. Can out. I have it now? Do you no, use no, yeah, sweat yeah. Right? The stickers. No. I'll, 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 what you're going to get out of me is maybe the potential of being a lifelong friend. Mm. The, 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 my heart is still open for to that idea, but um, for right now, um, we have to take a step back and we have to like you know think about what we're about to say next because I don't want it to go to a physical confrontation. I couldn't handle a physical confrontation right now. I feel like I'm in a swimming pool. Okay. This ha this it, has yeah, happened and, to me. And, and, and this has happened to me say, a million times. One last past. thing I want yes, off yes, my sir. back, right? Yes, sir. And the back of your head looks like shit. And I, that's and, and no, wait, hold on. And that's all. No, 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 no. Here. And that's all. I, I, I got that. I, I got that off my. No, I, I saw the spot. Now I, I, no, 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 no. I saw actually, the spot. I, it looks weak. But my point is, is now that I got it off that my chest, now we can move on. Now we can move on. Okay, Mike. I have to say, I'm just kidding. first of all, I'm just. We're, this is all for fun. Good times. I, I, I love you. So I much. will I really, never be. I would love you back on this podcast. To be honest with you, I would love to come back. I love you on a that non sweaty day. Yeah, and I think that. Um, you have a skill set that's um, shocking to me, to be honest. What what aspect? When I first did the impulsive, and I think I've told you this, guys. After that, I go. I thought to myself, I go, that guy Mike um, really has a skill set that's a comedian. You felt like a comedian to me. I felt you're good. 
You don't do stand up at all, right? I don't. Mm. Let me let me tell you this. It's did you a, see Dune 2? I did. It was what one you of think? the greatest movies I've ever seen. Let's it's talk about of, it. Literally 10 out of 10. I, wa I want to answer the other question first. No, no I don't. Please, want to. please, you have to allow me to answer something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> please. <laughs> Please, Rob. I don't want to. You have I don't to, want you to because it will it will help cool right, me. Okay. It will help cool go, me. Go, go cool it. Down. I have a, I have a condition, um, not to get too dreary and and sad on the show today, but my my days, my performance, everything that I do in life is dictated by my mental health. Unfortunately, at this juncture in my life, I, I couldn't hear you. Go ahead. I have an anxiety condition that is instigated and inflamed by my day-to-day -day life. So if I... I'm locked in, Mike. I'm listening. Hi, May. How are you right now? Good, good. Just confused that Bobby. Bobby, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing there? I didn't laugh. It's your fault. You looked at me so laughing. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Mike. Go ahead. You have an anxiety... Gotcha. You have an anxiety condition I'm, I'm, instigated by what? Some sort of trauma. Trauma, death... Despair, mortality, relationships, all of the same things that I think all of us kind of deal with, but some people don't deal with them as well. Mm. I, and, and, and like the past week or so has been challenging for me where you, you're looking at my hand. Do you, you don't like this? I'm looking at your eyes. Well, fuck off. <laughs> I'm looking your what? eyes. I'm looking at your eyes. Fuck off. What was that? <laughs> was that? No, I'm just I'm offended by it. I was looking at your eyes, not your hand, man. Do, Dune, two, Dune 2. <laughs> Dune 2. No, no, go, no. Don't go to Dune 2. Dune 2. No, no, you don't go to Dune 2. Mike, you don't power go to through. Dune 2. Ten, power no, I had to finish ten it. 10 out of 10. No, finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> no, finish your insecurity. No, no, finish no. Finish your no. insecurity. No, because this is a comedic show. and no, I, 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 I'll no. tell you about my trauma. No, but can not, it's not your turn. Oh, yeah, go ahead. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought that was it. All right, go ahead. One of the reasons I came on the show was to have fun today. Are well, you having a blast? I, I actually am. Me too. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm sweating. It's a great time. But I've, I've had this happen to me. I, I have panic attacks. And I really do. I struggle <laughs> with this a lot. And it's one of the reasons why you asked me if, I would, if I've ever done stand-up. And even if people told me, like, yo, you're, you're funny. Like, you're good at comedy or whatever. Mm. I, would, I don't think I would be able to do it. I, get, I have really, really fucked up nerves. Mm. And, if I, and if something doesn't go right for me, like I make a joke about my friendship with someone and their Korean background, I'll just start sweating. Spiraling. Yeah, I'll start spiraling. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone's looking at me. They thought you were funny at first, but now they just think you're a loser. So it's hard for you to sort Did of you like, even see Doom yeah. 2? Like it's the so, it's it just so funny because, you know, I love when people make assumptions about something when they haven't even done it. About Those stand up, you mean? Yeah. I mean, you don't know. Well, you I don't can, know. I can draw. You don't know. You, no, can, I, I can, you can draw. I, I've never skydived. Right, and I can name you a million things that that I I opinions about it, and I have no idea what it's about. But because I don't want to do it, I'm scared of it. Uh, these things come about, but at the end of the day, I still haven't experienced it, so I don't know. What are you scared of? About what scares you about it? Dying. Okay, so or the shoot not opening. So if mm. so. Yeah. So if you did something similar, like bungee jumping or something in the same vein, and that scared you a lot, could you draw a conclusion about skydiving based on experiences? In no, I still can't. I can, no, I can't because it's still a complete. When you're bungee jumping, you have a tether. Yeah. Right. So it's like skydiving. You don't. Yeah, so that thing can snap. You can snap. It's snap. Yeah, before. for sure. I understand that it's a different horror. It's a different horror. I think bungee jumping is actually more dangerous than skydiving. Yeah. Can you look up the death statistics on those two, please? Yeah, yeah. Somehow bungee jumping seems scary. It is. Even. It's way I've done both. But it's what you're scary. saying is that you did something similar to stand up and it didn't go well. So you, I'm you, you... sweating on your podcast. Yeah, yeah. We're just sitting here, yeah, so that's I can true. make so I can make an assumption. Yeah, yeah. Based on that, that until I'm able to get over this fear of talking about certain topics or confl conflict or confrontation or dropping the ball on a joke or whatever, that I probably would find myself in a similar scenario given the application to another place. Yes, you in the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you think that you would sweat as much the eighth time you did my podcast? Absolutely not. You, you would still sweat? No, no, no. You wouldn't. The point be, you're so you, right. So what I'm the saying is, is thing that, that I have to remember. Right. So yes. if you did stand up, you would sweat. Mm -hmm. It would probably be a disaster, like it is for everybody. Yep. But the hundredth time, I don't think you would sweat as much. So it's just saying exposure therapy. It's exposure That's therapy. Also, you're you, you, because you're scared. You're feared. You're. It's the fear of the unknown. 
You don't know what's going to happen. But then once you do it 100 times, you kind of basically know what's going to happen. Yeah. The worst it can get. You know, and it's not even that bad. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You had to get comfortable. How are you doing today? Good, Mike. How are you doing? Pretty good. I are mean, you? I was better before when I was not sweating. Yeah, yeah. yeah hi, Mitch. Are you, are you in Doom too? How do you... <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you keep mentioning Doom. T- are you in Doom too? Do you have a small part? No, I'm not. No, I've mm. seen the movie. It's incredible. But why did Wait. you ask that? Oh, no, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Why did you ask that? Because <laughs> he kept mentioning Doom too, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no. I asked if he's seen it. Oh, you Have thought you, Mike was here to promote Dune 2. Are you promoting? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Timothy? Wait, you, I have... You never saw Dune 2? I seen the first one, but I fell asleep, so I... Oh, okay. The first one was, the first one was very slow. Yeah. The first one was very fucking slow. It's we have a very streamer. important Jaime update. Okay, go ahead. Um, Jaime recently, or earlier today, told me that he's currently seeing someone, and she's a single mom of three, so clap to that. Yeah. He said he's Thanks. potentially a stepdad. A stepdad. And how's that going, Jaime? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I is guess. she a lot older than you? No, she's like around two years older than me, so like mm. twenty nine. So she's mature. I, I, and this is the she's love of your life? No, not yet. But uh, I'm just messing. Could she be a potential her. love of your life? Yeah, I think so. I like her. How long have you guys been dating for? Oh, we haven't been dating. We've just been messing around. Insertion. Yeah, I wrap it up like I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. yeah, but yeah, we still mess around. When do you when do you intend on unwrapping it up down? Shit, I don't know. When you're wrapped up, do you want to be wrapped down? <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, two when years, two years, I think two years. Two oh, you, years before you take the condom off? Oh, well, I mean, I don't see myself uh, having a feature with her, so, you know. Not feature. Did you say a feature? Oh, I thought yeah, you said yeah, a feature. Yeah, I didn't feature. know if you said feature. Maybe a recording no, you did say feature. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I said. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You're, I have a speech impediment. No. So. Oh, here yeah. we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's, he's They're pulling a George now. <laughs> Throw me more towels. <laughs> Throw me more fucking towels. Mike, how right. dare you, Mike? Kidding. 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 Um, do you, why, are you usually safe with your partners? Yeah. What do you, what's your, what scares you the most about not using a condom? Getting her, the, getting her pregnant. Getting her pregnant. And yeah. she has a, a past, a track record of being pregnant. Yeah, Efficient. Pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Efficient. Yeah. Very yeah, so what's her nationality? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Korea. <laughs> Korea. The producer yeah. now draws the. Oh, that's an M. Yeah. Oh, it's that's a, not yeah. as easy as a K. Yeah, yeah. Mexico. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Mexico. Yeah. No, beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wait, have you, wait, have you ever um, um, been inside? No, that's, that's a terrible way. Have you ever had sex? Damn. Not inside. Have you been inside? Oh, fuck it. Have you been inside a white woman before? Uh, no. Wow. I, I just take two Mexicans. You stick with Mexicans. Yeah. It's funny. Why do you do that? I don't attract white white or uh <laughs> Wait, Jaime, could you see yourself being a stepdad to three? Oh, could yeah. you ever have a feature with white women? <laughs> <laughs> could you see a feature white? Could you ever I think I like white, white girls. What? I like white girls. Yeah, yeah. But you you you're int- do you think they're a little intimidated by them? Who? What? White girls? Yeah, or? Romulans. Yeah, white women. <laughs> white, the white girls? Um, like, no, I don't think so. You know what a Romulan is? No. Okay. But white girls. I don't even think I know what that is. What, what is a, it? a Romulan? You know what it is. Like they lo- they're like the... Um, well, don't say anything. Okay. Is that like the sauce that you put on french fries overseas? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> so let, let, I'm going Ra- to I'm gonna, I'm gonna name you some other that's, things that's from that world. Oh, Remoulade. Oh, Remoulade. <laughs> Remoulade. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> Fuck. That's oh. funny. You're so this good. This is not good. I love you. No, it's great. It's a great podcast. <laughs> Your sweating is unbelievable. No, it's, ba- no, it's, it's down. So oh, it's down now. It's, it's, it's so intimidating. I really want to show you my armpits to make you feel please, better. Please, please, could you yeah, do yeah. that? It's, they're disgusting right now. Yeah, it's th- threatening. Really? Probably. Can I ask you a question? Did my sweating make you sweat more? Yeah, because even a little bit of sweating anywhere in my body makes me sweat. It's like an avalanche effect. Mm. So the tiniest bit, if I acknowledge my own sweating, then it doubles and triples. So you have the same sweat. exact thing going on as me. I have hyperhydrosis. You. See, but mine's only on my face. <sighs> okay, so mine... Like my, like my <laughs> butthole right now is okay. dry. Your as, armpits as, are dry? I'm dry, dude. The, what? I don't know. Yeah, it's fucked up. And that's, and that's the worst thing because that's the only thing that shows on a... On a podcast, right? Yeah. So I get the mustache and under the eyebrows. Mine's sweat. my forehead. But that's usually if I'm like confronted. So like if I were in your seat right now, I would yeah. get for sure the mustache and under the brows. Got it. Got and it. also the armpits and hands and feet, which is like the worst. Do you, Do you think that it makes us less uh, like 
quality people. I think probably, it it yeah. I think it probably makes us um like how do like, I dude, say Like dude, there's this? Romulot coming out of my <laughs> forehead right yeah. now, dude. Like You know that he says I look like a Romulan. Okay. Bro, what does that term mean? Okay, I I want to name you No, don't look it up, please. No, I'm not. I want to I want to name you some uh, it's, it's a quiz between you two. Okay. 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 So I want to name you some other word, words I'm not even phrases sweating anymore. from phrases Sober. from the world I'm talking about and then if you get it, it's a fun little game, all right? Okay. Look at I mean right. Dilithium crystals. <laughs> it's from Greece. Yep. It's from Greece? It sounds like something. The movie Greece? Greece? The movie White Greece? Lightning? Or the country? <laughs> like what? Wait, what? Yeah, Greece, no? Like the, the country? Greece, lightning, go. Yeah, they don't have dilithium crystals there. Crystals. <laughs> crystals. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Jeffrey, I, Jeffrey's tubes. I don't know. Even I don't know that. Oh, right, no. Those are deep. Those are, now let's go to the basics, all right? Okay. I don't know that one. Wait, uh, did you say this was on an island? <laughs> no, the country. Wait, no, are you so, talking about no, the tunnels a, on Epstein Island? No, Romulan <laughs> is a is a word, a part of a world. I'm gonna, and then you, if you know, it's what a the, show. No, don't say that. Sorry, fuck. Oh, <laughs> dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh why are we not gonna ruin the game? Sorry, my bad. Is that West Wing? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Romulans and West Wing. Mr. President, call the Romulans <laughs> yeah, now. Call the Romulans do you, by some chance, mean West World? <laughs> no, oh, West, yeah, Wing. West Wing. You know Wait. what West Wing is? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show. But you would think that he. Okay, so um, but Vul the dimethylene crystals. Vul Vulcans. <laughs> Vulcans. What do you think? Guys? Vulcans. Why don't we work together? Do you want to work? Together? Yeah, let's work together. Yeah. Vulcans. Give me one more. That's the, I, that is the word. I mean, I don't even know outside of Vulcans what the easiest thing was, but if, uh, uh, Vulcans. How about this? I'll do a hand gesture, okay? Star Trek. Star Trek, yeah. dude. We Crystals. come in peace. Yeah. yeah. Hey, good job, man. We crushed that. Congrats, guys. You could have just said, um, what's the captain's name? Uh, <laughs> Spock. No, the main captain. No, uh, let him guess. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. He That's his name. Captain Pine. <laughs> Crack Captain, Captain Chris Pine. Pine. <laughs> yeah, Captain Chris Pine. Chris Pine. So, <laughs> so the Vulcans did this as a hand gesture, but the Romulans are also an enemy in the world. They're cousins with the Vulcans. They kind of look similar. The guys with the shit on their head? Yeah. yeah. No, those are, those are Klingons. Klingons. Yeah, yeah. Are you a big Star Trek fan? Yeah. You are? Yeah, yeah. You never watched it? I mean, I'm more of a Twilight Zone guy. Okay. Let's go back to Dune 2. Yeah, <laughs> Why? You got no respect moving. for Rod Serling? No, I love Twilight Zone. I just don't know much about it. We were talking about um, uh, um, Dune 2 earlier, and we kind of bypassed it. Now I'm going to circle back around, and let's talk about it. I feel it. like you have an audience for Twilight Zone, and I don't really get the chance for it. <laughs> like, I mean? feel like you... That's so offensive. No, it's, you not. Know what's so no, funny? it's not. It's supposed to be the opposite. Yeah, yeah, I, I guarantee you your audience is is schooled in, in culture. I, I More my, than my fucking Oh, they are, for sure. More than my fucking my, um, my podcast host, my other podcast, Esther Pavitsky, she's a diehard Twilight Zone. I've seen Zone. every single episode. Multiple times. Yeah, Every she might she episode. might match you with with the whole like diehard fan. You're talking about old school. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the only one I saw one was uh, uh, correct me if this is one where he's a guy. He goes into a bank vault. It's one of the biggest episodes ever made. It's called. Let me finish it. Time at last is the name of the episode. It's one of the best episodes. Right. So can I t tell people? Let me guess what it's about. Yes, sir. A man. He's in a bank. Well, I don't know why he's in a bank vault. But then the end of the world happens, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't like people. Mm -hmm. Is that the thing? Mm -hmm. Doesn't like people, the end of the world, and then he somehow escapes the fucking vault. Mm -hmm. Was walking around, he realized everyone's dead, mm -hmm. right? And but, but, he, but make sure you give the one. I know, I know. And he has glasses, which is important because his favorite thing is reading books. That's all. That's he all he wants about. to do is read books. That's it, right? And he's like, ah. Oh. When he runs into a library, he finds a library. Library, he goes, ah. January, February, March, March April, April, May, right? All May? the books I right. can read forever. I have time, time at but last. But can I say something about that episode? There's yes, a sir. flaw in it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the episode, he, his glasses fall off his little head. Mm -hmm. They break. And now he's like, oi, oi, kavolt. I don't, he's an old Jewish guy, right? Oi, kavolt. I know I can't. <laughs> I don't mean, think he had any kind. I, I know, but just in my mind. I mean, <laughs> kind oh, of my back. Religious you know I mean? oh, oh, I can't read books. I mean, then why don't you just go find a glasses store? Uh, I mean, like you can. I mean, crawl around. He, well, he's from the town, right? He, he's from the town. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh fuck! I can't hear myself. Oh, is, is that was there thing? money in the bank? Or what did he do with the money? No, no, no. Money was not involved. Look at it. 
He was in the bank vault the because he worked at the bank. Right, so and he's from the town. Correct. So he's kind of, because now he, he kind of knows the town, right? It's like right now, I live in this part of town, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so if I went blind, right, and someone said, find the fucking... Um, five guys. Yeah, yeah. I got five yeah, guys. Yeah, there you go. Good <laughs> one. That's I'm, good with five guys. No, but seriously. Or, or the Vons or, any, or the Ralphs. <laughs> yeah, how are you getting there, please? <laughs> All right. I can't wait to hear this. Right, so I'm blind, right? Yeah. I sort of know. I'd be able to find the five guys. That's pretty far. Okay. So let's not see. <laughs> yeah. I know where it is. It would take me like probably two weeks. How about to Equinox? Not even, I, I, I can find the Equinox, but let's what's it like? Uh, let's just say the Trader Joe's. Okay. I could be there within three hours of okay. being blind. She, there was a reaction over here. Are you kidding yeah. me? All of a sudden, you know how to operate while being blind? Do you know that takes <laughs> years and years and years to learn how to blind even, like... Blindfold me tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> blindfold me tonight, Gladly. right? We'll do an experiment. Blindfold me tonight, right? Somebody has to look at me because I don't want a car to hit me. <laughs> of course. But in this scenario, what we're talking about, there's no more people, right? So people are gone. I could find the fucking... But, you know, but, so this Bobby, old man... Bobby, there's also <laughs> flaming piles of radioactive buildings that weren't there before, between then and the last he, time you went to Equinox. So you're saying he could like, just trip over and fall into one of those and die? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Bro, there's... Oh, so, okay, let, let's go this logic then, right? Okay. He's blind, right? Yeah. No, he's got glasses, right? Yeah. He's got books, right? He has to eat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's it's like, how is he going to find, like, there's radioactive shit. How is he going to survive? No, that's the whole point. He, his glass is broke, so now he can't. The episode's over. But if the, he had the glass, he still has to eat and go yeah, through radioactive material. Yeah, go to material. Subway or whatever. There's no find... Subway there now, dude. If everything's <laughs> burnt to the crisp, right? Subway remains. Okay. The glass store. Do you know the how many glasses franchises? Store do you know how many fran No, glasses store and Subway are different. Like, I'm pretty sure a BMT lasts through a nuclear bomb more <laughs> than a, a pair of eyeglasses, which are made of glass. Which and fragile shatter. books, too. Oh, this guy. What? What are you <laughs> fragile books? All the books are intact from a n nuclear fucking situation? Did his glasses shatter or were there fragments of it he could <laughs> use? Like yeah, this? that's a very good point, sweetie. He, he Grab a little module. He yeah. dropped them and then they, they hit the ground and like, because of the fictional nature of the show, they they, they, impl they shattered imploded. a thousand. Okay, okay. <laughs> they imploded. Okay. Like I always wondered that because like really they should have maybe like just like... But they really like vaporized. Okay, got oh, vaporized. Oh, oh, why can't yeah. he find a Braille book? Mm. Was this town bombed? By who? Uh, they, that, don't, they, don't, they don't give that type of info, yeah. but I would guess. Just uh, the Romulans. Yeah, probably. Romulans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergeant Spock. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant Spock. That's, so let's go back to Dune 2. <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, let's <laughs> go back to, to Twilight Zone. I want to go back to Twilight. What's another famous episode that you could. Oh my God, there's so many. There's, I mean, the most famous episode ever is is uh, Nightmare Twenty Thousand Feet, where what's that uh, one? There's a monster on the wing. Uh, it's a, oh yeah, I know that one. And it's actually uh, William Shatner. It's actually William Shatner who's the actor in that episode, and he's yeah. and, and he's 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 going through this like mental crisis where he sweats a lot on podcasts, uh -huh. and he <laughs> looks out on the wing, and there's there it is, and there's a monster, but only he can see it. Uh, Whoa. And, and he can't get the other people on the plane to believe it, but it is there. This is so, so uh, what what happens to this guy? He uh he he get there. He plops the window open to go out there to to confront this guy, and they have to do an emergency landing, uh -huh. like Albuquerque or something. Yeah, yeah. Get him off the plane. And whoa, then, whoa, who's that? That's the Ooh, guy. The same person. Same yeah. guy. Whoa, he dude. Really grew his hair out for, yeah. for a later scene. In the episode. <laughs> whoa, dude. But but then what? when he's getting taken away in fifty one fifty and brought to to the psych ward. Yeah. In the back, you see the plane and the wing on the, the wing is folded up. Whoa. So like he was right. He was but, right. But, but listen, Rod Serling, the writer of a lot of these episodes and the host of a lot of these episodes was a genius, an absolute genius. And you know, this is the kind of stuff that I don't get to talk about on the show that I'm on. I'm on Impulsive. We talk about wrestling. We talk about <laughs> yeah. crime. I love, no, I love the stuff. Uh, I this watch. is the type of shit I'm into, and I think I think I've created a pretty 
one dimensional view of my myself on the internet. And I want people to know, you know there's. What, 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 thank you for having me on the show. What are other, what are other things? Show. What are other Honestly. things, people? You want to let people to know about yourself that we could put it out to the world? Okay, so you, I never knew you liked. Um, uh, I do know one British. thing about you yes. that I find yes. super interesting is that before you were in, on Impulsive, you worked for Love Sack. Yeah, the giant bee bag company. And you went from working there to basically being on one of the biggest podcasts, like in the world. Yeah. Like, what was that like being like, okay, cool. Like you have a healthy corporate job and then boom, now you are um, at the mercy of public opinion. And Logan Paul. I know, you know, listen, I never assigned much of a, like a value or sentiment towards anything in life because that job in corporate was chapter 5,000. You know what I'm saying? That was past, you know, waiting in line at the methadone clinic in 26 degree weather for six years with people, you know, throwing up all over themselves. Do you still go, you, do you go to meetings or no? I don't anymore because I'm just, I'm busy. I should. And I think that, you, you know, I, you know, I have my own meeting. You do. Uh, really? I do. What night is it? It's, or do, it's a, day, talk about it's a daytime after. thing. Yeah. I yeah. would, I would 1000%. You, you'll love it, dude. I would love to go to it. I would love to. Help. I'll let you know afterwards. Okay. It's a great meeting. I, I'll definitely come okay. to it. I'm gonna start sweating again. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, but it is a, it is a, it is a weird topic because I think in a lot of ways I've cemented myself by way of my book as kind of like a thought leader in the space of um, recovery. There's not there's not one way to do it. But there, I agree. Yeah, but no, I don't I don't like to, I, I don't promote any of that type of activity. I, I like for people who are a year, three years, five years into their recovery, they like people need to lock in and be sober 100%. I, I just, honestly, to be completely transparent about it, I'm I'm still battling a lot of shit in my life and, and still battling Addictions? a lot of trauma. Not substance ones. Like process? You know? Yeah, process addictions, Porn. whether it be food, whether it be sex, whether it be any of that kind yeah. of type of stuff. Mm. You know, um, But that's not really what it is. I'm it's stuck more in just, that kind of behavior too, my friend. Right, yeah, but, it, but, it's the, hard. but the program helps you with it. No? I know. I still have these process addictions, um, these side things that I really have to take a look at. Because I obsess on things and I, it's all the, to escape how I feel and what's really going on. And I, I can see myself doing it and I'm very aware I'm doing it, you know? Like incessant, like even like watching TV shows like Shogun, yeah. I'll burn through it <laughs> all at one time just so I don't have to like deal with anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has like, like he has like a like fixation. So let's say for instance, like he's rewatching season five of The West Wing. He will watch that over and over again. Like if he watches an, that season of The Voice, he will watch each audition. I'm not kidding you, Mike, 30 times. Uh, with the hope of discovering something new. I always do. I always discover something new. In see, like the way you watch. treat, see, like the way you treat that with that like obsession to like rewatching the episodes is like, for me, it's like how I talk to myself in my internal monologue is like really bad and i i just i i, I treat myself very like my i have a, a girlfriend of the past s seven months now which has been really helpful for me right. in terms of being a little bit more structured and she just is she's like dude like you we really need to talk about how you treat yourself like you are you are terrible terrible oh, I'm what do you think about what they say about how our parents' external dialogue to us as children become our inner monologue? Last week, while talking to my mom, whenever I go to a, a therapist or talk on a podcast about it, I talk about how my childhood was incredible. My parents were together at least up until I was 14 when they got divorced. Um, we had a house, we had food to eat, like, like table stakes for like, you know, a good life, especially when you look comparatively to what a lot of people go through in this world. And I was talking to her about it and I was like, you know, is there any reason like I would feel undervalued or or like I wasn't good enough? And and she looked at me like, do you not remember what it was like being like working alongside your dad? Like like I would go mow the lawn and she's like he would come in and be like, yo, he can't mow the lawn. Like this is terrible. I'm just going to have to go and do this myself. Like you're oh, never wow. going to be able to. Like yeah. you can't do this. Like I would go to help him, like try to fix the car, and he'd be like, "You're not good you're enough. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. Just step back. Let me do it." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and listen, like I love my father. Um, 
But what if him we were doing him, it wrong? I, I was, I'm oh, sure, oh, but I was okay. six. <laughs> you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I was okay. probably that's, shitting that's wrong. That's the scary at the time. part about parenting. It's like for them, it's a regular Thursday, and to us, we hang on to those little details when we're young because 100%. our heads are and our emotions are still like our brain isn't fully formed at that age. Like we're hanging on to their every word, so they're how critical they are of us does become our inner monologue. Like my mom's voice replays in my head every single from the moment I wake up to the to the time I close my eyes and it never ends I can like I can intellectualize and say hey like this isn't truly how I feel about myself but that monologue keeps running anyways yeah. and it's really it takes a lot of effort to kind of shut that off so it's what just, do you do when you have a kid you if someone a kid go, paints like draw something if there's a and it's not it's not good <laughs> right and they go look mommy what well, look no let me finish okay go ahead go you, can you be my mommy well, in this scenario? Whenever my no, let me. I'm gonna. I'm a okay, kid right now. You play the mommy. Okay. All right. Mommy, what are you combing your hair for? <laughs> Women brush your hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's good, dude. He's you're good. So, you got to go. You're, you're so good. He's yeah. prop com. What is that a prop? You're, you're a prop com. Right. <laughs> mommy. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> I do this. Do you, you think it's good? Let me see. Is this shit? Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't swear. <laughs> don't swear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you think it's good? That was supposed to be fire engine. Uh, no, it's not good. <laughs> That's it. Give it back. You need to try again. <laughs> Go tell your daddy. Okay. <laughs> That's not, don't be a parent then. Huh? That's not good. What's your instinct say? What? You oh, what? You be the kid. Give me a comb. Wait, tell me. <laughs> Oh, I'm the ki- oh, I'm the kid. Oh, I- wait, I want to be the mom. I want to be the mom. Well, well, the next scenario, you'll be the mom. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay. okay. Mom. Mom. I'm right here, sweetie. You don't have to yell. Mom. Yes, ma- yes, sweetie. Ma- remember the dog died last week? <laughs> I I made picture of the dog to remember him let by. Me see, let me see. Let me see. Huh, sweetie, that looks like a fire engine. <laughs> <laughs> So try it again. It's not good. Get get the fuck out of here. Whoa. Not uh, too much. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> a little too much. Mom? Little, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to do methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how they do it. All right, here, here, here. <laughs> <I> will... <laughs> All right, so you want, you'd be the kid now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. You're the mom. You're the mom. Oh. You have the comb. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch it because it's gross. Okay. I wash my hair. It's <laughs> like, mommy. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. stop. It's little. It's, 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 it's stop, 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 stop. He's stop, Italian. Stop. No, I have to know. Yeah, what so, fuck? what kind of kid is this? Because that was a little strange. What? Yeah, what kind of kid is this? Um, mommy. <laughs> what, 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 French? What is what, that? Now that? Is it a European kid? <laughs> yeah, what's going? Oh, you want a different? Oh, you do I have to wait? Do I have to answer in the same nationality? I, I think you have to. So okay, you gotta okay, match his okay. fucking and nationality. Okay. <clears throat> and action, mommy. <laughs> I drew a picture <laughs> of my pet cat. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Can you go lower on the voice? He's yeah. very like puberty. Right? He's a child. He's, okay. I know, he's a mommy. Mommy. <laughs> I know. Mommy. Sound like a kid. Be Hello, mother. Like, yeah. Be more kid like. Yeah. Action, mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> I drew up a picture of my pet cat. Take a look. <laughs> Was that Borat? <laughs> Is that Borat yeah, child? Yeah, it's Borat. It's Borat. Well, <laughs> it is a very nice a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is a cat, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, mommy? <laughs> Honey. You can keep uh, working on it. It is very good. Sweetie, stuff. sweetie. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sweetie. Dracula. <laughs> what, are you doing the, what, what did our daughter, our son, paint? <laughs> it is the cat. What, let me see the cat. Yes. Whoa. What it's a you, beautiful cat. What do you think, puppy? <laughs> puppy? Puppy. Hi. <laughs> What, I, I can't even pin an accent. I don't know what accent this is anymore. You have three different accents. <laughs> this is insane. Look at Stop. It's like a nightmare. nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a That's nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's like, man. Okay, anyway. No, no, just, you're, no. you're not playing a kid Yeah, anymore. no, that was horrifying. It's horrifying. Uh, but okay. as Bobby, as a parent, you have to be poker face, <laughs> even if you think it's shit. Oh, okay. You gotta be like, hey, we'll thank your, you for this. That's your comb? Yes, my brother. <laughs> you keep that in your pocket? You put that in your pocket? Oh, 
<laughs> what else is in that pot? What else? What is brand in- is that? We? No, it's the wet one. It's oh, a wet, wet brush. Oh, wet brush. Okay. What? Let me see. Yeah. You got a Louis Vuitton wallet? Is that? Is it? Oh uh, no, a guy from Chinatown. Okay, Chinatown Market. Mm-hmm. Oh, the brand. No. Oh uh, no, because there's Chinatown. a brand they had to actually get rid of the term Chinatown. It was offensive to the Chinese. Oh. Yeah, it just, I don't know why. It's just called market yeah. now. Let's they just got rid of the whole like brand. And just let's called. go do a um, Dune Two review now. <laughs> Welcome to Dune Two Review Show, starring the cast of the Bobby you, Lee Podcast, you, Tiger you, Belly. Let me ask you: Did you see the original? I did. 84, 1984. I did not see that. It was it was one year before I was born. I know, but you can still watch it on the. You it's know. it is still available. Yeah. Yes, I did not watch. It. I saw parts of it of it on a screen one time, and then chose to probably watch Requiem for a Dream. Instead. Okay, can I say something about the original Doom? Yeah. Bear, I I loved it. You did? Yeah, and I think the Harkonnens, right? Yeah, because Zirconians. Freya, the Zir- Zirconian. Harkonnens. 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 The Harkonnens. Uh, I thought Sting played Frey Harkonnen, the Austin Butler part. Sting oh, played that in the original movie. Okay. And I remember in my head, I'm like, watching at that as a kid going, God, they are, they're horrifying. And the way David Lynch did it is like, it's the same kind of like dystopian kind of look that they had. Like, there, one guy's <coughs> ear was like stitched up. And you know what I mean? It was like really weird. But as a kid, it was horrifying. So it was so interesting to me to see how um, this new movie, they would portray the Harkonnens. Right. And I thought that you did an excellent oh, yeah. job. I thought that Austin Butler was fucking... Crushed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. Menacing. Mm-hmm. Very good. That was such a cool role. And it was so cool to see like the behind the scenes of like what they do in their town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in their city, like in their stadiums. Yeah, like, where there's so like fucking crazy. Bleak. Sh- yeah, like weird. Weird. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so good. Dude, he was so menacing in this. And he was so good, and so because he's not in the first one in in the in the in the um, David Lynch movie, you know Sting and the other guy is in it the whole time. So when I first saw um, the original, the first Dune, Dune one, I was like, oh, where's that Sting character? But I'm so glad they saved it for number two. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because he he was so good. Who'd you, who? Else, what else did you like about the movie? It just was like years of cinema were just like brought together in this like tour de force. Like it was just such a perfect, the the cinematography, like every shot was so thoughtful. It just, everything looked beautiful. The sound, like if you watched it in the right theater, the sound was incredible. You have to watch that in a theater. Like you 100%. have to go watch that movie in a theater. It, it reminded me of when it's, it's a movie where you look at it, you go, Oh, I, this style is like, um, it's supposed so specific to the director. What's his name? Villi- Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Oh, Villeneuve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. It's so specific to him, you know, because even in the arrival, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just arrival, the way the, sound the aliens arrival. looked and the and the sound mm-hmm. and it's just so him. He did Blade Runner too, right? Yeah. The yeah the, the what, the, the, what the, else? The he didn't one. do. Yeah. Uh, he didn't do Sicario, did he? Yeah, he did. He did. Oh, Sicario. he did Sicario. Bro. He did Sicario. Yeah. He that dude is off. He's that like, dude may be the the. He could be the best yeah, I mean, right now. Like. Wow! Yeah, exactly. Because Sicario is actually my favorite film. Love that. Sicario is my favorite. One of the, one of favorites. What's what's my favorite scene in that movie? You think? Oh, uh, I know. What is it? The border patrol. The the the, the guns. Where they're at the border with the. <laughs> and they, stop, stop, stop. That's the scene. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of the movie. The whole movie's about that. <laughs> I know, it's but a lot of guns that one the where they take out all the Mexicans, um, <laughs> in the highway. Mm. I think that's your favorite. What's your favorite? It's scene? not really. No, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. So did you, you, did his... you see the movie? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't like Mexican. the second one. You're Mexican, right? Yes. You, it's like prerequisite. Oh, prerequisite. It's like reading, it's like yeah. reading of Mice and Men. It was the Benicio Del Toro and the, <laughs> and, 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 and the lawyer and the kids. Where he goes, oh, my that, God, oh, bro. That scene is so good. That is such a twisted Damn. way to like finish. It's a shocking scene. If you haven't seen that movie, that's like a must-see. It's a must-see. That, that, mo- that movie just like, I think it got score. It, it, got, it got best score. The music was haunting. Mm. Like, you know the scene when they're going to uh, Juarez for the first time? Mm. And it's just that that heavy bass. So like, good. dude, it's just everything about that film. Josh Brolin. Um, Benicio. Benicio Del Toro. Just, just the acting. And also, it just feels so real. And you know, what's, you know what sucked about it? That they followed it up with part two. Oh, like, the good. part two. I never saw part two. Not, not good. 
It just well, did he do part two? He or didn't no? direct it. That's why. Oh really? Yeah. I hope he's coming back for three. There's been a lot of conversation about the. No, film. he he needs to, he just do what he wants. He's doing some good shit. <sighs> uh, yeah, the, you know, Dune two was good. What's the best movie ever made? Wow, like what's that's, not that's sorry not difficult thing. sorry not d- fuck the superlatives. What's but your can favorite? I just go back to do my opinion sorry. about doing two yes. how important it is mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because you have these um, in the last decade we've had these Marvel and DC theatrics right that that have a lot of CGI a lot to it some action this and it, it, and you know if you're watching it from a distance you're you're going oh this is great it, there's no substance to it right this movie has real family and emotional connections and 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 the pacing is like perfect and they let things build you know and um it just it's a, it was a really great movie um and i really and the sound was insane the sound you could you saw it raise your hand if you saw um dune 2 i haven't I yet you have to mm-hmm. anytime there's you're one you're not going to watch it I am. You didn't even see. Do you see Godzilla minus one like you said it in the theater? No. <laughs> yeah, because you're a lying lady and you're a fool. <laughs> you already know. Okay, can you're I a tell, fool can and I you're lying. Gonna make her sweat. Can I tell you something about myself? Mike? <laughs> you're like a sweat and you're a lying fool. You're like the equivalent of like a basketball game. So you you're know how like people <laughs> sweat, bro. I feel like Patrick Ewing. On this you're podcast. Patrick Ewing. You get uh, you get panic attacks, right? You get panic not, attacks. Not like not in the classic sense. Like I don't. Okay, pass so out I've beat. had. I can count. At least five panic attacks from the movie theaters. Oh. And it's something, it's not that I don't understand that movies need to be viewed with that, with a big screen and the perfect sound. It's just there's something about being confined to a dark space with strangers that makes me very, very anxious. So it's very hard for me to go by myself. Did so. that did that get increased by what happened in Colorado? I mean, maybe like subconsciously, I'm sure that seeped into my head, but it started when I was really young. Really? Yeah. You know what's you know what's messed up? When that Colorado thing happened, I went to the movies um, not too long after that with some friends. Uh, what are you talking about, Jackson? When that with the, watching the Dark Knight, <laughs> it was a Dark Knight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, there was, hey, Jackson. There was a Aurora or what? Aurora. Oh. Yes, yes. There okay. was a there was a shooting at a theater, uh, mass shooting at a theater in Aurora, Colorado. I remember. It was fucked up. And not too long after that, we went to the movies to watch a movie called A Quiet Place, which is a very like nerve inducing. Like you're gonna sweat. Yeah, I've seen it. it. Yeah, I love great, it. great movie. So the movie had started. Some fucked up shit was already started to happen, and uh, we're sitting in like the first row, and I, I, I'm like hearing behind me what doesn't sound like it's a part of a quiet place maybe it was but i'm hearing these like extensions like of things like metal like ratcheting no like ratcheting together right so so i look at my friend that i was with and i'm like yo i'm not fucking doing this bro like i'm not well, you're i'm not a hero the, well, you're, I'm not you're, you're in the theater you hear that ra- noise metal like ratcheting ro- a road what if it was like Something that you didn't even expect. Well, listen, it was Optimus. So, timing. so no, it was. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm not, I'm not good guy with a gun today. Like, I'm not doing this shit. I'm fucking out. I'm not helping the old ladies. Like, I'm out of here, right? Yeah. So I fucking bolt. Me and my friend bolt out, and uh, we find the usher. It, like in the front, and I'm like, hey, "What's he doing there?" I mean, he was, was he having a concert? He was doing no, 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 <laughs> God. not these are my confessions. Not that guy, like <laughs> okay, an, okay. an actual man who checks the tickets. Like, oh, you know my, bad, my bad, my like, bad, my bad, my bad, because I was doing a show. <laughs> nah. okay. And I'm like, "Hey, man, like, yo, theater three, quiet place, like." There's some really fucked up shit about to go down. Like, you got to get the SWAT team You in said there. that? Yes. Oh. I'm like, bro, you got to get somebody in there. And he's like, fuck, dude. Like, you know, Oh, my God. What? What, like, well, what the hell is going on in there, dude? I'm like, dude, they're building out ratchets, bro. I hear it. And he goes, what theater did you say you were in? Oh, theater three? He goes, theater three is the uh, theater for uh, hearing impaired people. And they have these ratchets that they ratchet up that shows a little screen with subtitles on it in front of their seat. So you just heard them like unfolding and <laughs> assembling the, the metal. And I went back in and the people- It wasn't like, Optimus, oh, oh, it was oh. Optimus Prime? No, yeah, oh, it wasn't. It was uh, like- That would spook the fuck No, out yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, though. I mean, that just- added, Or do your research. <laughs> yeah, or just did you, did turn, or just turn around. Did you even know your that? attitude right now, I'm tired of your shit today. What's wrong with my shit? You lie today? about. We've seen many movies together. You never had a panic, a panic. Because I had a partner. Oh. I was in a relationship. Oh. Yeah, so then watch Godzilla minus one or Dune two with people, your friends. You, You're, but you didn't invite me. Can we all go together to see it? 
I would love that. I'm down to go. <laughs> is that a movie that's out now? Either? Wait, God's, it's out right now? It's been out for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me you never saw Godzilla minus one? Wait, if I... Br- it's black and white. It was... No. Oh, oh. What? what? It was... Isn't filmed... Like, well, they did it one, one week, week that one. Oh, one week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just that one week. What? What's your favorite movie? Top five. Tell me now. Um, Mad Max. Which one? Not Fury Road. Fury Road. Nice. Not a Great bad movie. choice. Not a bad choice. It's a good movie. Yeah. Go ahead. Would you compare that to Dune? Is that, that no. No. Oh. Dune is Dune Two is pretty is pretty incomparable. I'm gonna be honest. Like like a nine out of nine point five rating right now scares me when somebody says, "Oh, it's one of the best movies ever." It it really is. Okay. It sort of had uh, two thousand Space Odyssey that kind of awe, like visually awe awing mm-hmm. effect to me. Anyway, go ahead. Number two. Number two, hi man. Just any movie? No, you're yeah. t- you are top five. I to Mad Max. Uh, oh, so twice you want to list that one? <laughs> you do no, both of them. Number two, <laughs> Mad Max Free Road. No, yeah. just Mad Max Free Road. The new the with uh, Tom Hardy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I know what you saw. Can we get yeah. past Mad Max Fury yeah. Road? Let's move down the list. Go to uh, the second movie now. Okay? I hope he says it one more time. <laughs> no, you won't. Because no, I, I will lose my shit. My uh, what's the second movie now? Aside from Mad Max <laughs> Fury Road. But make Tom sure you give, Ho- us Tom Tom <laughs> give us the preface of what the first song was. <laughs> yeah, give us a... Please. What, yeah, if you were going to tell... What was the movie about? Mad, Mad Max? Max Fury Road. <laughs> uh, the guy with the straight... Like, what a lovely day. <laughs> The, the, right. the gates yeah, yeah, yeah. of Valhalla. Yeah, guy. but what, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, Tell okay. me the, what does what's the movie about? <laughs> Let's. Say I'm a, an executive, right? You're pitching the movie. He's sweating. Right. Yeah. And and, 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 and in in a minute, tell me what the movie is about. Admittedly. All right. So we're gonna happen. have this land, this old white guy who controls the water, fresh water, and he has these slaves, uh, these women of slaves, and. Yeah. Oh, so it's an old man. Let me write that down. There's an old man. man. There's I an old man. Controls water. There's a hand. And he has slaves as well. <laughs> Did you say so write, write, write this down. Slaves. Okay, go ahead. So what's, what's <laughs> so they have slaves. It's an old man. It's just in the deep south. And his uh, right is, hand. Is in the deep south. Wait, is this Django on chain? Yeah, Django on chain. What is this? <laughs> no, this white lady. Uh, she, white lady. Her right hand. Right hand man. Her uh, she, man or woman? She steals the women. Women. She steals women. And yeah, she's gonna be played well, by. Who, uh, what women? The white guys, um, <laughs> slave women. Oh, slave women. Okay, sex slaves. This is like sex, 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 yeah. sex slaves. Yeah. And okay. this takes it's like insane. in twenty thirty six, and uh, the year twenty thirty six. Yeah. So about fifteen years from now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a waste. So this is gonna, this, we're gonna run out of water in fifteen years. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's oh, just gonna, no, it's gonna be a drought where a man no, can hoard his water. I control <laughs> one white guy. guy. So one white guy is gonna tr- control all water. The fresh water, yeah. fresh water. Yeah. So who controls the salt water? Yeah. No, who controls the salt water? Uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Oh. Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> so the football player Tom Brady is gonna. Tom be Brady. He's okay. Tom, so Brady. Tom Brady is gonna control <laughs> salt water. The salt yeah. water, but the old white man's gonna control fresh the water. fresh water. And he's gonna Very have long good. hair. He's, long hair. Does it? Can we work on that, or does it have to have? What does the long hair have anything to do with it? No, that's how his design uh, is. Oh, he has, Oh, you've designed that. <laughs> yeah, designed them. Okay, okay. So uh, move and on. So what so happens? Brady. And then his that white girl, bald head lady. The, wait, wait, I don't know about the bald little lady. Who's that one? The white, the right, white, the yeah. right hand lady. The right hand lady. Furi- she's called the right hand, right hand lady, and Furiosa. 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 That's her name. I'm gonna call her Furiosa. 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 Okay. Uh, Furiosa. She's gonna, she's gonna be played by Charlie. 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 Well, Charlie who? Ther- Throne or something. Charlie Throne. Throne. <laughs> so call. Charlie call wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> call, call Charlie Throne's agent. See if she's available. We'll do. Yeah, for the bald-headed lady. <laughs> she's working on a <laughs> movie with Tom Brady. Right <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then there's. And, oh yeah, call Tom Brady for the for the salt water <laughs> control. Uh, yeah, and who's the other guy? So okay, there's a old bald man. guy. What old man? Who should we cast for that? Because you, Charlie. We have Charlie. I'm thinking Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin's gonna play Josh the old, oh, the old white man. Yeah. Okay. Put call Josh. Okay. And then what ha- happens? And then there's a skinny guy that he is like uh, um, um, a minion to the Josh Brolin. And uh, would you like to play that part? You I just, would love to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You just well, what's this about? Just because sure we don't know what, sure. what we're doing. Uh, when so you, do the, you keep doing. He's this. promised um, uh, sex at the end. Oh. Of- oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but, so there's uh, wait, so. So the old man has right, who, minions. who controls the fresh water. Yes, he has millions. Right? He has millions and he controls he fresh and he water. gives I know, but he also can give sex. Yeah, he, he promised his minions sex. Sex. Like you want sex? Okay, good. So and then kill yourself for me. 
You kill yourself. Yo, yeah, you don't get sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commit suicide. Wait, wait. You get sex. You get sex after he kills himself. Necrophilia. Yeah. Well, what's that? Um, I have the saying where you like when you like. I'm awaited on the right something like that at the gates of Alhalla. Oh, thank you. I'm awaited <laughs> on the gates of Alhalla. <laughs> Uh, you know what? We've we've heard enough. Let's green light this movie, guys. <laughs> good job. Good man. job. Good job. So how about wow, the next wow. four? Wait, how about the next give me four one movies? more movie. Give me one more movie. Top Take two. Life. Top two. Uh, damn, I can't wait. Kicking it old school. Oh, you, yeah. You're just doing a joke because I was in that movie, so don't be feel, no, okay. silly. Go, okay. No, uh, a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> a movie. Yo, can I just say something? Yes. A kick it in old school was a real movie. And it was a movie. It, yeah, it is a movie. It, is. it was a, it's movie. a movie. It was a movie. <laughs> a yeah. real movie. Uh, comedy is real movies. But a uh, uh, second movie. Uh, what? Come on. Just just any movie. movie. Just any movie. That what have like, you seen? Just your the, favorite movie. Okay, The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, second yeah. favorite movie. Yeah. Okay. Great one. Great one. Uh, you want to write this one? I have a good ideas about this. About the Wolf of Wolf? No, we'll pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish the, this one about the man that with the water. We'll finish that one, and then, okay. you know. See what we can Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those are the only two movies you've seen in your whole life? I've seen a lot of movies, but I can't think because I'm getting sweaty. Yeah, see, okay, nice. Oh, you're put on the spot. Yeah. There's a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there a TV show that you like? The, vamp the vampire, di vampire Diaries? Oh, wow. Also, you really like iCarly. No, I don't like Cardi that much. Oh, really? You lied to Esther? No. I mean, yes, but like, I like. I don't watch it. I don't sit and watch it. It's so funny oh, okay. what you're doing right now. You love iCarly, but because. Mike's here. Mike's here. You're oh, I respect that. iCarly's no, awesome. You, Mike's here, and now you're like, oh, no, I'm a man. I don't like iCarly. <laughs> <laughs> iCarly's awesome. Yeah. That's no. a great, that's a great you show. Like, I love iCarly too. I yeah. have it on DVD. Do you like it? Yeah. You're a f. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? I, I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. Does though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also... <laughs> you trying to <laughs> people? <laughs> That's fantastic, dude. That's it, you know, us three should have a movie review show. <laughs> that would make my life. That would make my life. That would literally... Bro, 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 bro. Look at this list of movies that you I have <laughs> on my phone, bro. Yeah. Oh, God dang it. I'm so sorry. Mike, are you into um, Asian movies? Like... Other uh, countries? like, uh, hentai? No. <laughs> no you don't have to go jump all the way to hentai. Well, I know he wants to probably talk about porn at some point today. I know he's just fucking seething to talk about porn. It's a sad day for Texas. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell yeah. me the rule. So you're saying that Texas banned. What is that list? Oh, wow. Let me, can I see your list? Man. You know, movies you have seen or you have No, it's not just movies I've seen. That's a that's a, a good list of boy movies. I call them good boy movies. All right, History of Violence. Uh, Fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's the one my friend Ash, my friend Ashton Holmes is in that. With movie. Vigo. With Vigo yeah, Mortensen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that the one with the bathroom scene? That was Eastern Promises. Eastern yeah, Promises yeah, yeah. equally yeah. insane. Well, Reservoir Dog uh, amazing. Trinity amazing. Inception of Interstellar. Um, well, Inception, yeah. What? That was a good one. What? Oh, I would love to hear him explain the plot of Inception. <laughs> that would be. That would, be fun. That would, I would be love to hear that. <laughs> that Children be, of Men, very good movie. Children of yeah. Men is is one of my top ones. That's I thought cool. Saving Private that first the first thirty minutes of Saving Private Ryan probably one of the best mm -hmm. insane. Right. It would He's would still. anyone say that there is a currently still a better war film, modern war film than that? I think I, I think if you if you if you look at uh, Stanley Kubrick's um, mm -hmm. Full Metal Jacket, yeah, I mean the first half of that too. I think if you combine both movies, so if you put the first <laughs> half of Full Metal Jacket and then the second half was the first half of fucking Saving Private Run, you'd have the greatest movie. Just multiple the really good, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the really good um, war movie that I saw was um, the one sh sh allegedly shot in one take. 1917. 1917 yeah, was great. Incredible. That was incredible. That was incredible. Great. Incredible yeah. movie. Awesome. It's, it's incredible, your list, because... You've seen every single one of these movies. Oh yeah, and I, really I could I could tell you that some of these I wouldn't we highlight. Yeah, yeah, some which, of them. Which ones? Yeah, yeah. What? Which ones are questionable for you? Some are kind of questionable. I mean, you, you all right? So here's a question. I just read it. Hold on. Is Mad Max on there? It's not. That's not it. Um, <laughs> what are the questionable ones? Like rom coms? There, no, I just all, read one. No, it's all, all boy movies. No, like I, I am Legend. Uh, questionable. I'm it's legend, it's legend still a fun watch slash. during its time period. Yeah. But okay. it's not. No, it's. I mean, well, here's, it's here's a hundred... sad, the saddest part of that, 
And I want to bring this up yep. the, with you. But Samantha. His dog, his dog dying. Samantha was her that name. That was so hard. Yeah, it was yeah. Because she turns. She does. And he's holding him. Remember Will Smith, right? Wow. Right, right? right? Mm -hmm. And he slaps the dog like Chris Rock. I can't. Oh. <laughs> you know what movie I watched for the first time a little too late, Bobby? What? That you recommended to me two years ago, but I finally right, watched it yesterday, was Prey. The Predator movie. Oh, yeah, movie? yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Okay, okay. La last movie topic, because there has to be something else besides movies. Okay, go ahead. Is... Let's say, let's go with most fucked up movie that we've ever seen, okay? Oh, shit. There's so many. There, Okay, there's a movie that I haven't seen, uh -huh. I've only heard about. It's like a, it's like a urban legend, like, yeah. a, like a nightmare scenario. Called It's called A Serbian Film. Yeah, that's banned. Banned. It's banned. Why is What's, it banned? Oh. I heard it's bad. Supposedly, it's like the worst thing like ever. Like, it's just super like... Like I, I won't oh. even say it on YouTube, yeah, but just yeah. really bad stuff in it. It's called a Serbian film. I haven't seen that, but for me, one that always stands up is Requiem for Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, Requiem was pretty rough. I think also because we probably watched it as teenagers. Like for me, it really seared into my brain in Forever. high school. Yeah, but I did watch it too many times in like a really fucked up horny girl way. Did it lose its allure? What do you mean? Bit? Yeah, like now I I watch it in a very with through very different lens where I'm like, this is. This is so demented because now I understand the scene of um, Ellen um, um, Barkin. Bar yeah. Burst Burst Barkin. Ellen Bar no, it's not Ellen Barkin. Hey, you're it's close. Burstein. It's Burstein. Burstein. Burstein, yeah. yeah. Um, her Who scene. No, Bob Barker, I think you're thinking. No, Ellen. There is a Barkin, but that wasn't her. It's Burstein, I yeah. think. But her scene of just like, it's like a fever dream of her eating this order and everything about that hits a little different now. Burstein, you're right. Yes, yeah, Burstein, yeah. My bad. It always it always hit me a little bit harder too as like an actual, as like a heroin addict. Too. Yeah. Like it just was so. I, I have a movie that's more fucked up than that. What is Visitor it? Visitor Q. I, I've seen it with you. But the scene is funny. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to explain. Uh, yeah. I, I know. I, I, I watch Visitor Q. It's a funny scene. This is why I'm I don't saying, know. I don't like, know if I want to watch it. Yeah, watch it. So Visitor Q <laughs> is really old. It's like an old movie. So like, I think in Asia, I think Asians have the most fucked up movies, I think, compared to America. Because everyone was like hyped about Saltburn. And I found nothing like shocking about it. That movie kind of... I, I liked it. I, I liked I it. I thought it was like all right, but it's like him I don't know why drinking I like that. the the cum water, water was like yeah. nothing. Yeah, it's like yeah. I drink that Bobby now. Does that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, not, that's delicious. <laughs> Bro, during a southern summer. Wait. Oh, <laughs> it gets hot. What's the most fucked up movie you've seen? I was on. I was on Requiem. I mean, I, I Requiem for me was always was always kind of torturous, just because my mom went through it with me and it's like him and his mom and just like the whole, like their, their connection and just like the How heroin. long did you do heroin for? Uh, I was addicted to opiates in some round. I started with Oxycontin cause that was a big thing. That's like the kind of the start of the you? 17. Uh -huh. So I missed a lot of like development mental years in my life. Oh, so you started with Oxycontin. Yeah. So I was addicted to Oxys when I was 17 until, and then I d switched off. They got pulled off the market by, by that, you know, the feds, Purdue Pharma, you right, right. see dope sick and everything else. Yeah. And it switched to heroin. And then I did that until 2010. I was on methadone pretty much the whole time or for like six years. Now, how long were you on methadone for? Like six years. And how did you, how were you able to eventually get off the methadone? Um, I, I started like weaning down because I wanted to get clean, but I also was still like using street drugs too. I was doing dope. And at that, at that point I was like smoking crack too. So I was just... I was I was getting 90 milligrams a month of Xanax prescribed and just going through them in like a day or two, like crashing cars. Like yeah. Hor just, it was just tr a horrible time the whole time. And uh, <clears throat> eventually my probation officer, um, her name is in, in Milford, Connecticut. She, uh, she was, I had a five year suspended sentence for my felony charges. So if I got caught or gave a dirty urn, I would have to do five years. Yeah. I gave her a dirty urn and she was like, tomorrow you're either going to rehab or you do your five years. Mm -hmm. So I just made the decision to go to detox and then rehab after. And, and then you was, clean sense. Yeah, June 23rd, 2010, I went to detox. Right, you know, right. You're, not even, you're not even listening to him. So I mean, like, well, it's, I mean, it's not. It's so ru rude what you're doing. I am listening. What he just uh, said? He just said detox is June twenty third. Yeah, that's but the good. whole thing. He knows my clean date. That was good, dude. That was really good. I don't think you would have got that. I loved it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I loved it all. You're such you're such a guy who projects because while you were explaining this to me, we were both locked. He in. was, he on, was the on the phone. phone. Oh, I know. I'm, I know, very, I know. I'm keenly I aware. It. I have anxiety. I, I know what's happening everywhere. Me too, dude. I am well aware. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, that was a long one. Thank you for sharing that. I, do we, Mike, do we, Mike that was also, a long one. Mike, no, no, that was no, long, to your That was a long... <laughs> We don't go over this long. This is pretty long, but we got to go through Mike's. Oh, He's the wait. burger guy. Oh, 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 oh. I will do it later. No, no, I need this. I need this because there's a, a couple of really great ones here close by that. And I this is you. Oh, that, that's you. That's a photo. Wait, what, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is this? There's what is this? What Mike's is this website? Burgers. I've never seen this before. Of your top burgers. Oh shit! I have a fucking web. So number two, burger she wrote, Los Angeles. Yeah. Is it great? It's fantastic. It's yeah. incredible. If you go in there, my picture is on the wall. This one's great. I've been here. Uh, for the One has surpassed Burger She Wrote. Now. Wait, it's called For the Win? Yeah. In Glendale. That's actually Glendale. considered I've to be the number one spot in uh, in well, California. Yeah. Wait, that's in Glendale? Uh, no, sorry. It's in, it's in uh, unless they have one. There's one. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> he exploded. <laughs> What just happened? Like a you just spit on Kalila. No, like my bad. Like a, like a, my bad. What happened? I don't know. He almost combusted. <laughs> he almost combusted dude. That was fucking easy. You gotta learn to breathe. He just dude. realized, on, he just realized oh, Tom Brady's not in the what's movie. What's the matter? Tom Brady's not in the movie. <laughs> 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 no, why is he what not happened? What happened? What happened? Are you, you okay? okay? <laughs> that was awesome. That was, no. <laughs> that was, that was so awesome. horrifying. You okay? Breathe, dude. You're holding a breath in? What happened? Yeah, what happened though? I want to know. Uh, what, happened? what happened? I was just talking about the burger. <laughs> yeah, I can and he just explode. Yeah, you explode. What happened? Uh, no, I don't know. You went through the wrong hole. <laughs> oh, you drank. Yeah, you know, he drank. What? And it came out wrong. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. He's mad, mad. Are you okay, dude? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> drink it again, drink again, drink again, drink again, see what happens. Yeah, just the, is it going down the right hole? <laughs> Oh, hi, man. You're hi, okay. Man. Hi, man. You'd be <laughs> hurt. Just slow, slow it down. <laughs> slow it down, Jaime. Yeah. You're doing great, okay? No, you're still spasming, oh. right? Because it went down the wrong hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go for the... <laughs> okay, for the win. For the wins in Glendale? No, I'm not done. Oh, for Glenn, the win. There, there's one in Hollywood. It's eight minutes from here. That's that one, the original. Yeah. It's a double smash patty, American cheese, potato bun, special sauce, wow. pickles, wow. onions. Wow. Um. Yep. Never been and there. Number one. Bobby. Hi-ho. Uh, Hi-ho. I love hi ho. We, yep. you think it's number one? Hi ho's hi ho's not even close to third. That 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 that's, I, that's wrong. I do like hi ho though. Heavy handed, and then actually heavy handed's a great burger. And then actually, if you go down the one that's been getting all the the play lately, is called Easy Street. Yes, that's the one Easy on Street, Langisham, right but, here. But I promise you, it's not as good as people are making it out to be. It, it's just not. Wait, My, what's the new one here that took over Mr. O's? Heavy handed. Heavy handed. Is hand, that heavy handed? It's out of control. They still do beef tallow fries. Uh, some of these are outdated, but I, I've done hundreds now, and most importantly, I've my own concept now what about um burgers say never die burgers never say die dude i will go is that if, burgers never, never say, say die, die. Yeah, if, if you get a hamburger spot right. i will invest i have it no i already have it i have a full a full there it is yeah right you're, there you're too late bobby 10 yeah. out of 10 and it's and it legit is it is a result of all of the studies and research that i've done over the past four well, where is it uh there isn't a domestic location yet that one's in saudi arabia <laughs> 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 In a line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not... I should have had you drink. Yeah, you explode. Before I said it. Anyway, you have a restaurant in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. It's called 10 out of 10. 10 10 burger. How's that going? It's good. No, how's the business? It's great. Killing Fantastic. It. Yeah. Yeah, good. Great. Yeah. But you don't have one in, in America. No, there's no domestic location yet. And so, um, yeah, you if you want, if you actually want to be involved, you can be. It's not, it's not like a massive like commitment. Like in terms of, money. no, I want to put some money in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd love fine. to get to. I'll no, you pour some money in there. Anyway, if you if you, you, uh, you want to promote, promote, plug anything. Well, yeah, buy if you only my book. Just buy my book, Fifth Vital. On Fifth Vital. Amazon. Yeah, if you, we'll get there going. On. I'm gonna want to get off drugs. Yeah, yeah. What else do you guys want to promote? Anybody? I always go long on these shows. I don't. I know. I can tell you want to. Why? Well, this is the second one I've done today. That's a great book. I love it. Yeah, is there an audio version? There is, but it's my voice. I love your voice. <laughs> I love your voice. You know, I'll be honest with you, man. I had a blast. I think we would work. I think we worked well together. Think, Don't you think? Yeah, it was awesome. It's confusing. It was and fun as it. shit. Um, and I think that um, we got to do figure out something to do with you. You're you're fucking hilarious. There's a, weird, there's a weirdness in that. You are so funny, and you, you need to be like no the dynamic. You don't, you don't right? do anyone else's podcast. <laughs> you can do you know I mean some in Texas, but in LA, you're our guy. Exclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your guys' dynamic, like, is perfect. You <laughs> you represent the middle ground where I am on impulsive, <laughs> yeah. which is like a mix of fit, fact and and feelings. Yeah, 
Lots of feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you're just, I've never seen someone explode before. That was, <laughs> that was, that was crazy. I've never had an explosion awesome, either. Dude. That was insane. Slow thank, down, dude. Slow down. And thank you, Bobby, yeah. for having me. It was, it was dude, fun. Mike, that was great. I think it's gonna do, this is going to go around Thank well. you so much, Thank you. Mike. Give a round of applause. You're awesome. Thanks to your audience. Bobby, I'm a couple of